Now, if you have the PTC Lab um, script or website and or you want to install it and um, you'll be having this kind of challenges on your screen. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can install the script and how you can rectify the um, 500 server error. Sometimes if you install the script, it will just generate that 500 server error. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you step by step on how you can rectify that error. If you have that error, or if you want to install the script from scratch, how you can install the script. Now, PTC Lab is a paid on click kind of you know, business. If you know you are new to our YouTube channel, I want you to smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that you'll be first to see the video whenever we post it. Thank you. So let's go straight to our system. All right. So uh, the first thing is for you to upload your script. Then once you you upload your script, then you just click back here. Then um, you go back to your cPanel and extract that very script. So I'm just going to extract this script like this. All right, I'm done extracting. And I'll just reload and I'll delete this file. I don't need it anymore and I'll delete it. Then the next thing is open this file. Then you copy, make sure your .htaccess and index.php is dead. Then you move it to your folder or your URL. Move it and then you're going to delete the rest. I don't need document. I don't need this. I don't need updates. So I'm just going to delete the rest. So that's step one. So the next step is for you to create your database because we want to link it. So the next thing is you go to your sheet panel and then type database. So once you click your database, then you need to create the database. I'll call it um, PTC Lab. Then I'll click on next. Then I'll repeat the same name for my database username because I want to use both name for the username and the database name itself. So I'll call it PTC Lab also. Then I will auto generate password. You can use your own password and you can auto generate password. So once I auto generate, I'm going to keep my password because I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. So I'll click I have done this. Then I'll copy my username which is both my username and password, I'm going to click on create user. So after creating user, the next thing is to add privileges to the user. You know, in some cases, when you upload some scripts and after installing, you see access denied for social so user and because you've not added all privilege. So just click on that and click on make changes. Then once you do this, the next thing is for us to go and install our script. So I'll just head over to another tab. I will tap, type on my tech editors and down um, slash ptc lab and slash install so um if if your own is a normal url just put slash install then click on install there so as it is installing so let's go back to our seat we want to make um add um permission to some folder click on call folder then open bootstrap then on catch give it 0775 then go back then come to storage, give it 0775, then open the storage folder on app, give it the same value. Then on framework, give it the same value. Then on logs, give it the same value. Then go back to that tab and go and click on I agree to next step. Then it will check the requirement. It's because we've changed the requirement. That's why. So let's view the requirement. Look at the requirement we just did. The permission we gave. Then let's go to the next stage. So the next stage is for you to configure and you know connect your database. So what's your database name? Remember we copy that database name and username. And um, our host is always local host. Then let's go and copy that password we generated and come and put it there. Put your password. Then um what is your admin username put your admin username then your um password you can use a password or choose another password so i'm just going to use admin admin then you put um a support system and just put support at um omatic um digital so i'll just use info at omatic digital.com then i'll click on install now if you make all the requirements your system will be installed so this is how you install your PTC Lab script. We've installed it. Now let's visit our website. Uh, this is our website, as you can see. So everything is loaded. Now, um, 
in a situation where you check your website and you see something like 500 server error so i'm going to teach you how you can rectify the 500 server error there are two ways you can rectify the um 500 server error so the step one if you have um you after launching your site uh, it goes blank and it shows 500 server error just go to your core folder edit this dot if you open it and edit it now the issue is this your password your database password so all you just need to do just put a single curly brace like this just a single curly brace like this and you save then once you save just go and reload, um, reload that site it will come up now if in a station you you put a single curly brace and it didn't appear now leave it like that come back your folder come back to your folder click on config config as a folder then once you click on config as a folder look at this database.php make sure you edit it like this and go and check your line 59 check your line 59 and make sure that your street is in force make sure that this street is in force not true then once you just change it your site will come up so I hope you found value in this video. If you found value in this video, I'm going to smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you'll be first to see our videos whenever I upload it in this depth.